as I prep for a Zoom, excited because it's a fresh post-op and with a lot of um, clientele in this uh, level of ability, they're not given access to the freedom of what they can choose, even in this state where they feel they're at their worst or they're at their lowest, or we use the phraseology of I'm, I'm bottoming out right now at this time of, of, of my life. And then after the visit, they're, they're just so pumped and so uh, radically shifted to where it's like, wait, there's infinite things that I can do right now, even if they're in a hospital bed or even if they're in a cast up to their neck or the scar is still fresh or the IV drip is still in. Um, and so along those lines, the message I want to convey that was coming to me in my morning training as well. And I've just seen this perpetuate, this message perpetuated uh, in the in the training performance strength and conditioning and even rehab world where it's you know um because you have to accept that you're going to break down just accept that you're going to break down you're going to slow and you're going to become diseased you're going to become ill you're going to become chronically injured you're going to it's just a a matter of time and this is the holistic world the natural world let alone the other side and, and sides and sides and all of it they're all saying the same thing so it's um you cannot train prepare for life explosively because everything gets injured so you're going to have to accept how to get strong without utilizing some of those tactics or some of those skill sets or tools and i've seen this and it's in the strength and conditioning world the the top minds are chronically injured and fucked up they don't have any idea about illness or disease. They speak of it as if it is like a flying invisible bird that's just all of a sudden gonna drop a shit on your head and you're gonna have to deal with it, but you don't have any idea how to deal with it. It's the top minds in these fields and it drives me up a wall because it is not even close to being the truth of how the body works. Nothing wrong with somebody accepting, you know, I understand what I need to change. I understand the level of work, consistency and sacrifice that's gonna take for me to heal to this level I don't really want to do that. That's a whole different ball game than the professions or the highest levels or the guides or the mentors or the coaches or the doctors or whatever starting you with, well, because you won't do what's necessary to go there or because it's really unknown what's possible with the body or because you're really going to have to just kind of deal with being sick, injured, disease, slower, in pain, symptomatic. You're just going to have, that's just because they're going to have to deal with it. It's straight up where that person is coming from. But to start you there as a marketing and sales to hit, that that's where you're starting. And then at your best, that's where you're going to go. Even if you were really ambitious or really found this new level of you or really sought out and discovered like, oh my God, I can do this. This is totally within my power. I don't, I don't, I don't really don't need anyone other than a, an occasional guide here or there who actually gets it. Or I, it's really just what's in my life and everything around me. I don't need to go to a special place, a special building, a special flight, a special, holy shit, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And then it's just this newfound confidence and faith and trust in yourself over and over and over to take it to whatever level you want. And then you experience heal from old injuries, experience new ones, know exactly what you're supposed to do with those per who you are at that time, and then symptoms off of anything else, you understand where those are coming from and what you need to do to address those. Because it all starts to make sense and it all works. And so one of the big stories that they love saying is, uh, for the elderly population, as you go in later in life, you can't train fast, prepare fast, you can't train explosively or prepare explosively. Well, let me ask you this, since training, just let's, let's just be fucking morons for a little while let's just simply put it in a very basic definition to be moronic training is preparing the body to manage the forces of life through deliberate movements from toes to thumbs now the difference is the body and the forces of life those are two completely different things and varying second by second by second therefore nobody can tell you how to train day by day because nobody is your body or your version of your body and nobody understands the forces of your life relative to who you are where you've come from who you are right now and where you're headed Deliberate movements from toes to thumbs, that's moronville. That's idiotville. That's anybody can do that as you see people are doing that right now. Any walk of life is prescribing movements and training. 
Um, and then they're chronically injured, symptomatic, have no clue what's going on and selling that level of being, well, just accept this level of dysfunction, dysfunction and calling the body like attacking you literally like symptoms and disease and illness and injuries are just these invisible birds that are going to shit on you one day. Um, so let me ask you this since prepare, training is preparing your body to manage the forces of life through deliberate movements from toes to thumbs. The tissues that manage the forces of life are muscle, which muscles manage the force of your life, all of them. So how long are you going to have to prepare all of your musculature to manage and, and adapt to all of the forces of your life? How long are you going to be exposed to forces and energy in life till you choose to die? There we go then training is going to be at the forefront of the rule of rule, law of laws, principle of principles, the essential of all essentials, aside from body only heals, owning the body only heals, not on the fence, the body only heals. It only heals now preparing to accept and garden and till what you're going to have to do to get yourself in a position to go. So, okay, we're going to have to train for the rest of our lives. That's an essential. That's a lock. As long as that's the de definition you hold true, which Anybody can look at that definition and go, yeah, that makes sense. It's simple. It makes sense. And it weeds out all the other bullshit around you. Okay. So now let's go into what levels of forces and energy are you going to be exposed to at the tail end? Take the way, way, way this guy in the hospital today, or even people that you observe that you feel bad about your parents, your elderly, your spouses, your whoever. Well, they're just laying in a bed. What level of forces are, you know, what intensity of stuff? They're just laying in a bed or they're just existing or they're just, okay. Take a surgical procedure. That's a magnitude motherfucker of force. Done. So you're going to have to train explosively. You're going to have to train fast and aggressive at some point. Even that person that is laid up in a bed. Okay. Are they going to cough or sneeze at any moment? Holy shit. Do you know how explosive a cough or sneeze is? They're going to have to train explosive. They're going to have to train fast as that version of them in that bed. And have you ever heard somebody cough or sneeze who wasn't prepared? It doesn't sound too good. It sounds like a, a car is trying to start. It's trying to turn over and can't. But the body wants to expel all this phlegm by means of a natural process called a cough, but the person doesn't have the strength, power, or speed, or explosiveness to do it without ripping their ribs apart because they have been sold a bill of goods that says you can't prepare, you gotta waste away. When you're injured, just get used to it. When it's gonna go, it's gonna go chronic. I'm a strength and conditioning professional and you're gonna have to shift to boxing or pool work or yoga or Pilates or all this soft bullshit. You're gonna have to totally go over to the side, except that you're gonna get older and when you get older, you get decrepit. And when you get decrepit, you're gonna have bone loss, you're gonna have joint damage, you're gonna have all this stuff because that's what I got. <laughs> that's where they're starting you at. So, okay, so we got explosive and intense levels of life, surgical procedures, coughing, sneezing. How about hearing something exciting for the first time? How about hearing news and you get all ramped up? Woo! That ramp up of emotions. Don't go bad emotions right away or emotions that you wouldn't want to repeat. But take news. The emotional response from news. It's an instantaneous blip of a magnitude of explosive, holy shit, strength, power, and velocity. And you are going to have to be prepared to do so. Training is able to ex is putting you in a position to be able to expose yourself to those traits and elements, even in a fucking hospital bed, even in your worst state or your bottoming out, which again, we would never say a caterpillar is bottoming out when it's cr creating a chrysalis. So even just that verbiage, that wording has to go away. But this whole wave that I'm seeing now, and it's aggravating to no end, it's accepting that, well, you can't train explosive fast or for power unless you have weight, really aggressive things, and you're going to get injured doing so because nobody has any idea what training is anymore. It's been so bastardized and perverted, nobody has any fucking clue. And the top of the profession is chronically injured or, or res, res, uh, uh expressing symptoms of healing and they're going to call it disease and illness and again sell you because these are the experts that's driving me up a fucking wall and then the solutions are going to be all these injectable testosterone injectable hormones injectable this that hacks supplement surgeries but at least it's not medicine because everyone's just going at big pharma i kind of feel bad for big pharma because it's getting a, 
a bad rap and it needs one, but the natural holistic side needs to be getting the same branding that Big Pharma is getting from everybody. It's the same shit. It's just the same story. It's just a different product they're selling. So again, own the truth. You are going to have to manage forces of your life on your body for as long as you choose to be here because it's more of a choice than what you think it is. Training is preparing you for those forces. When you put into perspective what forces you're encountering on a day-to-day, -day, it's very aggressive, very explosive, very powerful, very fast at times, while also being very slow and very fatigueless and very enduring and very concentrated and very still and deliberate at times. There is way a way to access that without creating more dysfunction, injury, whatever they're going to say, without creating more limit. And that's the thing. If your starting point of whoever the fuck you're working with is starting you at the most limited state because they're choosing that limited state, might be time to find somebody else. If it's a scenario where it's like, you know what? I totally understand the body only heals. I totally get that every injury is an opportunity. I understand why every injury occurs and why mine have occurred. And I know exactly what I need to do and where I need to look in my life and all the things that I'm going to go ahead and address and start to put together as I progress and make these things my own. But I'm only willing to take it to this level right now at this point in time. That ownership and that responsibility and that accountability and that not lying to yourself is a whole different physiology than these shit dicks over here that are selling you lack from the start. So that even if you go all in on lack, the best you can be is the best lack. And that I will not tolerate. Will not, will not, will not. I'll support the shit of the person over here who's like, I just don't want to do the work. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Own that. And then you never know. All of a sudden you wake up one morning and you're like, fuck. I want more. And you understand you have everything you need to access more. It's been in your hands this entire time. Boom.